welcome everyone to this video in this video i am going to talk about semantic models within cortex analyst so cortex analyst is a capability within snowflake that is empowering all the gen ai workloads which is primarily solving lot of use cases wherein i am going to you know kind of uh, give the the you know kind of questions in my natural language and it will give me not only the answer but even the sql the the corresponding sql and everything is is applicable on top of the structured data so that is what cortex analyst is right and this is actually possible because of semantic models now what are semantic models so semantic models are nothing but these are models defined on top of the actual physical uh, tables but that will give more business justification to those attributes or objects okay and at times it becomes little bit challenging with respect to creating those semantic models which is deployed as yaml file okay so within snowflake there is a faster way to create those semantic models and that is exactly what we are going to see in this video right so what we do is we go to aiml okay uh, from snow site and then we you know kind of obviously i am using account admin role for now we'll see uh, how it works right so when i use account admin role obviously there are some warning message which i get but actually i have to choose a role uh, you know that that has access to you know kind of create all those you know uh, semantic models so this is exactly where i create uh, you know kind of uh, i have all my access now so what i will do is i will now create a new model okay and let's say i give the definition as maybe demo underscore march underscore let's say 2025 right and then what i do is if you see this this is how your yml file is getting formed right description is optional you know this is for demonstration purpose i write it down okay and then what i click is click next okay and then uh, what i will do is i will try to you know kind of also ask some very sample questions you know and those sample questions can be anything and what i do is you know i have already you know put some sample question but you can you can put any kind of questions uh, based on obviously the understanding of your data what i am trying to do is what is the total revenue for the year 2022 across each of the you know uh, you can say that products okay Uh, that is exactly what i want to see and then i click on next and where is my data is something also i have to choose okay and there are three tables so let's say i am want to create my semantic model based on daily revenue okay and that is exactly where i have clicked this particular you know kind of object name and then i click on next so you know to the point to notice i have just chosen one table and what i do is i will maybe choose three columns date revenue and product okay now these are all physical columns right so what it will do is something which we will see okay so this window will be opening okay now this is my you know yml file okay and all these things which you see everything got generated automatically and you can even easily edit the yml file okay And that is exactly what i was trying to tell this entire content that you see that snowflake gave if we would not use this snow site all these things we will have to create it okay otherwise we will not be able to uh, use cortex analyst properly now over here i was telling right uh, your main table is this one and then base table is obviously present under a database and schema and then i chose date column i chose revenue column what all are the various synonyms okay that is something which has to be uh, you know defined and then what is the description business specific uh, you know kind of thing implicitly everything snowflake is deciding that or defining that for us okay likewise for revenue what all are the synonyms okay for product what all are the synonyms what all are the different sample values so everything snowflake decides for us okay <coughs> sorry now now what 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 we do is over here if i would have chosen two tables i could have even decide the relationships and there is another thing which is called as your verified queries so over here also 
let's say I will let's say add maybe query underscore zero one and then I can ask my question right uh, you know uh, like you know again same thing let's say if I have any simple question right and then probably I'll maybe add something like this right so this will be my question okay right and this is exactly what I am trying to uh, see from cortex analyst your semantic model and this query is verified query that means it syntactically has to be correct and this is the prompt which I have to give okay so just in case we want you know the YML file to be very very custom customized it will so that it will hit the exact same query so this is where you know we can use the verified uh, query attribute okay and then I do add we will see it will get added and then obviously it will it will be added on towards the end which is nothing but your you know verified query so this under this verified query this has come okay so that is exactly where you know we will have all my yml file created for this cortex analyst you know kind of uh, uh, capability and here we can ask various kind of questions now okay now the question can be same thing which i was showing right <coughs> what is the total uh, you know revenue for the year 2022 so it is trying to interpret a question right and then uh, you know in after interpreting this question it gave me the answer and also the query okay and over here let's say i will add what are the different maybe product uh, you know uh, ids uh, present in the in the table right all these things you should obviously you know after it interprets the question it will automatically give us you know not only the response uh, to this question but also the answer right you see this these are the answer and this is the query so what it did was i asked the question in natural language with the help of your yml file it has interpreted the question and then it gave me the exact query and the output and everything is happening you know in the back end there is a llm model which is doing this magic for us okay and then if i want to save it so what it will do is it will it will get saved in your uh, you know snowflake stage okay and obviously we can uh, you know see where the yml you know kind of data is getting saved right so you go to cortex analyst under revenue time series there is something called a stage and this is the internal stage name okay and this is exactly where things get saved there are a lot of yml files which are created but this is the one which we created right and that is exactly what we saw in the demo right so thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video you know would have helped in kickstarting uh, the the information around yml file and cortex analyst so if you if you like the video please feel free to you know like share and subscribe to my channel thank you